All right, so welcome back to Daily with Coding. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to host your React app to Firebase hosting. So we're gonna host the simple create React apps to the Firebase. All right, so let's do it. So first thing first that you need to do, you need to go to Firebase console and you create a new project. So in this case, I'm gonna create a new project called React Hostings with Firebase. Continue. And then I'm going to choose continue here. And for this, I'm going to choose default and let it create your projects. All right. So after you create your Firebase project, so right now we are ready to deploy our React app to Firebase. So here in my terminal, so the first thing first that you need to do, you need to install the React Firebase tool. So this is going to allow to access to Firebase command. So which I have already done that. So I'm not going to do this for now. And right now we can access to the Firebase a command. I can do Firebase-V. So this is my current version is 9.8. Uh, 9 so we're going to run the command Firebase init the initial of a project. So in here, we're going to choose the hosting. You can go to hosting and by pressing the space bar to select it and then press enter. And after this is you're going to choose the existing projects. So I'm going to choose the existing project that we just created called React Hosting Firebase right here. And for the public directory that we use is going to be build because when we're using the React run build script, it's going to generate the build folder for us. I'm going to choose here and it is going to be SPA and press Y. And for the automatic build, deploy GitHub right here. In your case, it might not uh, see it because this I have already done with GitHub before, but I will show you later in this video as well. But for now, I'm just doing no. If you don't see this, this is also fine as well. And then press no, and that's it. So the, before we build, before we deploy, we need to build our React app first. So to do that, I'm going to do yarn run uh, build. So then it's going to go into build our, into the build folder right here. So as you can see, we is going to build folder and then we go back into our terminal again and we can run the command firebase deploy deploy all right so this is going to be uh, really fast so the cool thing is about firebase hosting is that it gives you the ssl certificate and it's great and it's also a custom domain as well i'm going to copy this url and go back in here and i paste here so there we go so as you can see right now we have our site hosting all right so the next thing is what we wanted to do is we want to put this one as automate github so let's say you work with different people so when we're people pushing to the main uh, master branch you want to redeploy it for that we're going to do the firebase init hostings colon github so then it's going to uh, it's going to prompt you to log in with your GitHub, which I have done this one. So now I can go back in here. All right, so here it's going to ask you what repository that you want to connect. So in this case, I'm going to connect to my repository name. First, it's going to be username. And this is the repository name, React Firebase Hostings. Firebase Hostings. So right now it's going to retrieve the information about this um, GitHub repo. And then we need to, uh, so for this going to ask you for the script before we build so for that i'm going to choose no we're going to put our pre-deploy build uh, manually uh, in the, the firebase json for this we're going to press no and merge and we're going to do yes and the the, chain, the the which branch that we want to use so in here you can specify on which branch that you can pre-deploy in this case i'm, I'm going to go with master you can go with let's say a development or something like that and that's done so and then the next step is we need to do this one is we need to come back into here and then we're going to do the pre-deploy pre-deploy and then we're going to do the command the yarn install and also we're going to do yarn run build as well all right so to see if that is working so i'm going to change uh, let's see in the apps right here Let's say I'm going to delete the logo right here. And then we want to push this one to the GitHub and let it rebuild our, our apps. So for that, 
I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna do git add git commit dash ms. Uh, let's say tada. I'm gonna do redeploy. I'm gonna redeploy. I'm gonna do git push. All right. So right now we're pushing this one. So as you can see, this one are facing this error right here when I'm using the git uh, terminal. So if you're facing this problem as well, so to, to work around this one, in my case, to solve this problem, I'm using GitHub desktops. So if you're working fine, it's okay. But in my case, I'm facing this problem. So I'm using GitHub desktop, so it solves my problem. So for that, I'm going to go uh, choosing the directory that I am working on right now. I'm open this one this repository so i have commit already so i can just push origin but if you have not you can do just commit right here so now i'm going to do push right here so as you can see it's it's okay it's push it's okay to push using this one i'm not sure what's the problem with this one if you know what happened you can comment down below but all right so right now we can go back in here i'm going to refresh we go back to actions and so as you can see right now, it's starting to uh, redeploy our, uh, our apps. So it's going to take a while for this one. All right, so as you can see right here, I have an error. So the reason for this error is really common. So because I have in our projects right here. So as you can see, I haven't used this one. So we have this problem. So whenever you deploy to your GitHub, uh, so you need to check this one first if you have any problem. So if it's not, then it's OK. But we need to resolve this problem first. So seeing we remove the logo, so we're going to need this one. I'm going to remove this one, and we're going to redeploy this again. So, uh, and Mike, as you know, I cannot do this, so I'm going to use the GitHub, the desktop. So I'm going to do, let's say, redeploy again. So I'm, this is my commit message, and then commit to master, and then push to origins. And this one is going to start uh, doing it again. So as you can see, we're having another redeploy uh, process that's happening right here. So it might take a while. All right, so as you can see, our deploy is successful. So we can go back in here and we re refresh. So as you can see, our logo is gone. All right, so I think that pretty much it for this video. And I hope you learned some things and I hope to see you deploy some awesome website. All right, so that's it for me. See you guys in the next video. Peace.